Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Thank you so much for all your previous likes, comments and subscriptions to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, why not click on that button and ring the bell so you can get notifications of whenever I'm dropping videos on the channel, which is daily. And now on to the topic of this video and we are back on the road to C25. Here it is Tuesday and our level 23 road to C25 castle is actually ready for another upgrade. So uh, in the past week I've been raiding my main C25 farms with this account um, as much as possible, even up to 50 hits a day uh, using my class and Legion 1 because they have quite high troop counts. And um, being a raider now, I'm able to uh, get those resources out of the farms much uh, quicker than I had previously. So I'm able to upgrade from C23 to C24 in just one week for you guys. Now, something very important to think about for those of you that are following this um, series. I am doing this to kind of basically go through from level 1 to level 25 as quickly as I can so that you, everyone out here watching this will have a resource available so they can see what um, is required to upgrade on every level from C1 to C25 and what buildings are unlocked so that you can have like a roadmap of what you need to do in the coming weeks and potentially months if you're very early into the game and watching this series. Um, if you are at C23 in your main accounts and you're watching this video, I would really, really suggest, as I've mentioned in my last couple of videos, that when you get to C23, you just take stock and um, basically slow down your progress in terms of increasing your castle level. Now, the reason for that is um, I haven't finished own commemoration research in this account, and I would strongly advise everyone to try and finish zone commemoration research by the time they reach either C22, or if not, because you want to push to C23 to get those super tickets, then finish zone commemoration at C23. The reason for that is as you increase higher through the castle levels, the points requirements for each hourly challenge and the daily clash of province reward chest they increase in value so if you're if you don't finish stone commemoration and you continue to increase your castle level you're actually making it harder for yourself to progress because if you are able to if you're only able to um, get fewer boxes every day because the points values are higher because your castle level is higher you're going to be re receiving less Courage medals in those daily rewards and courage medals are what you need to finish own commemoration. So that is a key point for everyone that's watching this video. Um, in terms of the buildings that I had to get ready for this C24 upgrade, so you needed one um, house at least level 23 and you needed your tavern at level 23. The other really difficult thing at this level is the stables. You have to have it at level 23. Um, you're going to be probably spending about 200 million lumber on upgrading your stables um, to get it up to this level. Um, if you want to be able to as well accommodate all of the resources required in your front stock, you have to be able to increase other buildings to certain levels. So my iron storage three is at level five. Uh, my lumber is already way past them, but uh, you do have to get lumber storage 3 to level 4 to have the capacity to do the upgrade on the iron storage. And then for marble, it's marble storage 3 at level 3. That gives me a total um, save capacity of 117.5 million. And then for food, you've got food level 3 at level 3, and that gives you a capacity of 56.5 million. So those were the upgrades that I had to do. In terms of the resources required for the actual level four upgrade, it's 29 million gold. So that has taken a bit of, I've taken a hit in all of my stocks for this upgrade. Uh, I've just got 37 million gold left, uh, 50 million food, 50 million lumber. Both of those were fine. 3.4 million charcoal. Again, I used some of my stock. I've still got 31 million left. 99 million marble. I did raid an awful lot from my farms. And then I just used about 20, the last 20 million I took from my stock. So I've still got a nice amount of marble saved because I'm going to need it for the next lot of upgrades. And then 74 million iron. That is the real killer, guys. Uh, again, I've taken about 30 million out of my stock and um, I'm now left with about 43 million, as you can see. So very expensive upgrade, as you'd expect for the penultimate upgrade in the castle levels. So let's get it done. It's going to take 12 days, 22 minutes uh, 22 hours, 24 minutes, 
and it's going to cost me 26,000 diamonds to build it now because that's what we'll be doing and I've chosen to do this upgrade on this specific hour on building day the town construction where you get sit you can um maximize um, your points on this hour that you can gain because you can get up to 16.3 million points to get the third hourly chest uh, which will obviously give you a big boost on your daily as well and obviously we're that that the points for that are counted from both um, building speed up so the 12 days will count towards that points total plus the castle upgrade from c23 to c24 is 8,500 points so that is going to be uh, that's a considerable amount of points getting added to the daily total as well. So let's get this upgrade done. And there we go, 25 million points on the daily Clash of Province score and easily beats the hourly target of 16 million. You get 25 million if you do it with the speed up now. And that's actually the fourth hourly that I've completed in the account today which is the first time I've done that and 75 million points I think that's a record as well so I finished all six boxes today I can't do any more because I haven't unlocked super rewards in zone commemoration uh, so that's really really good let's see what rewards we get on the upgrade it will be some resources and gold of course seven and a half million gold back so that's good at least that's a good bit of chunk chunk of gold back that I've just spent and let's have a look at what buildings we've unlocked so you guessed it guys, of course we have got another farm. Let's just build that. We have another distillery. So that is your 10th and last distillery. We also pick up our ninth lumber yard. And then we get another house. Now that's going to be key. So those are the four buildings that you unlock at C24. Um, let's have a look at what our C24 castle looks like. So there we go. So that is my third C24 at the moment. Um, I've also got Pom Farms 6 and 7 at C24. But I might upgrade Pom Farm 6 to C25 this afternoon as well actually. So that's what a C24 castle looks like. And then we just have that one last upgrade needed for C25. So let's have a look at, at what's required. Our Alliance Hall needs to be level 24. The Tavern needs to be 24, of course. And population is needs to be 350,000. Now, right at the moment, my population max is 283,000. So that needs a considerable boost. I think, if I remember correctly, you're looking at um, three farms at level 24 and then the rest at level 23 so this brand uh, sorry houses houses at level 24 and then uh, three at level 24 four at level 23 obviously we've got this brand new house at level one so I'm gonna have to upgrade that all the way from one to level 23 to get the extra population capacity so that's going to be a key thing and um, upload upgrading a house to level 24 it's going to cost you 9.9 .9 million food 3.3 million marble, 1.6 million gold. I do have plenty of uh, food available in my stock, um, so that's fine. Then we're going to need to get that tavern up, of course. Um, a level 24 is going to cost 15 million gold, 19 million food, and 32 million marble. So that is quite a considerable increase. And, of course, the Alliance Hall. So I have been upgrading the Alliance Hall bit by bit as much as I could. And my Alliance Hall is at level 21 right now. But it's going to require for a level, just even for level 22, it's 8.2 million lumber, 20 million iron. Um, I think it's going to cost to get upgrades 22, 23 and 24. You're looking at close to 75 million iron. So that is going to be a significant uh, investment to get that up to level 24. I think the C25 upgrade will definitely take me two weeks at least because I don't have zone commemoration finished and I needs so much more um, iron for this upgrade so let's have a look at the other resources 34 million gold 60 million food 60 million lumber they will be okay 3.9 million charcoal 120 million marble and then this is the real killer 89 million iron so my 
capacity, my total storage for marble is 117.5 million. I could potentially get away with not upgrading my marble storage um, because this is going to be 65 million lumber. Um, two and a half million, if you have a shortfall in your stock of two and a half million marble, you're looking at about, I think that's about 7,000 gems. So I still have 47,000 gems left over after that upgrade now. So if I, in another two weeks, I'll have plenty of gems. Maybe I can even push close to 100,000 gems available to help cover the differences in the upgrade. Um, obviously, food storage probably would need, an up, well, it would need an upgrade if you had to. Uh, but that costs 32 million iron as well. So I would suggest that you don't upgrade your food storage either because... Um, I'm only three and a half million short on food as well. So that's again, again that's about six, 7,000 gems. I've already got this storage capacity in my lumber storage. It's well over, um, it's at 126 million. So no need to do any upgrades on lumber, uh, which just leaves the iron storage. So you have to make a decision at this point based on how much you're able to raid and how much you're not. Um, max storage for my iron at this point is 76.5 million. If I want to get it over the threshold, then I'd have to spend 110 million lumber, 30 million marble, uh, and it's a nine day upgrade. So that's gonna be, and it's 15 million gold. That would be a significant outlay as well. Um, but obviously if you don't do that, then you're looking to find 89 million. So that's about, it's 12 and a half million marble that you're you're needing to cover. Uh, that is around uh, 60,000 gems. So you, if you don't upgrade those storages, you're looking at having to find, have about six, close to 75,000 gems in your account to cover those shortfalls, but you will obviously avoid having to do those massive upgrades. So it's just, depending, if, you're, if you finish zone comp and you're generating a lot of gems, I would definitely suggest that's the way to do it because um, you save yourself, you know, like 150 million lumber, for instance. So uh, you're highly likely to be able to upgrade quicker if you do save some gems for the C25 upgrade. Uh, so there we go, guys. That is everything on the C24 upgrade video for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and you're liking the series. If you are, then please do click on that like. And I'm interested to hear your comments about how you are developing your castles at this stage. Are you slowing down at C23 and upgrading your research and other building key buildings, as I've suggested? Or are you or are you just really desperate to push forward and get to C25 as quickly as you can? Um, if you haven't already, as I say, why not click on that subscribe and ring the bell so you can get those notifications, guys. And if you could please share this video and my channel in your alliance chat, province chat, and through Lime, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.